Hi there, welcome to this short video on Laravel Sketchpad. My name is Dave Stewart, I'm the creator of Sketchpad. I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you what Sketchpad is and how you might want to use it. So Sketchpad is a, is a new interactive development environment for Laravel. It installs as a Laravel package, it provides bolt-on functionality for any existing website, and allows you to separate development and tooling from your application code. Essentially, it's an end-to-end -end pipeline for writing, running, and managing code. And it's a powerful alternative to tinker, tests, commands, or jobs. Sketchpad's approach to organizing code is to use controllers and methods. The construct is well understood by developers, with methods being easily callable, taking parameters, and supporting middleware and requests. Now, these controllers can be loaded from anywhere. You'll see here we have an example controller. We have some demo tools. These are loaded from the package folder itself and some live documentation. And these are just controllers with methods which run code. These are all set up in the settings. You can add controller folders, you can reorder them, you can turn them off. We're gonna start by taking a look at the example controller which is loaded with Sketchpad. Here you can see the index page. The index page of this controller just tells you some basic settings so you know where you are. And when we click welcome, we can see the first method. The first method has a parameter. We can change the value of that and the page updates instantly. However, the real beauty of Sketchpad is not just the one-way interaction, but the two-way interaction. Let's say we want to make this method have a greeting, perhaps. And we're going to change the code here. And we're going to say greeting name. Let's add that as a parameter. Greeting equals hello. And we're going to save that and immediately see that the interface updates. I can change it here and the page updates again. It's not limited to just changing parameters either. Let's see what else we can do. I'm going to change the name of this function to greeting. You can see that updates automatically. I'm now going to add a new function. Let's call it test. And we'll just echo test. That new function shows up automatically in the browser. And when I click it, it runs. I'm going to finish the demo by briefly showing you some of the other main sections of Sketchpad. The home page is fully customizable. You can change this depending on your own development setup or you can keep it as it is. There's a search page where you can search for methods within your application. There's a favorites page. You can actually mark methods as favorites to look them up quickly. The settings page is where you change the behavior of your application or add new folders, change live reload or customize the UI. And there's a help page, which is fully customizable per install. I'll finish by making some comparisons to some other development tools you might use. If you check the wiki, there's a small table and it just has some, some brief information around this. And finally, um, you may be wondering how you would use Sketchpad yourself and on the wiki is a small a small section showing some various ideas for how you would use it. If you like what you see, you can download Sketchpad from the GitHub repo. Or if you want to have more of a play, there's a demo online at sketchpad.davestuart.io forward slash sketchpad.